talk about recording the first uh, zombie singles, that experience, and, and, and can you recall the first time you heard yourself on the radio? Uh, yeah, the first time actually wasn't the radio, it was on the television. Oh, okay. And it was a thing called Jukebox Jury, which is yes. on every week in England. And George Harrison was on the panel. Oh. And so they played She's Not There. And he said, oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I really like and, and the zombie, the zombie bass player and the zombie keyboard, I like that. And that's the first time we'd heard it. <laughs> and that was really, George Harrison wow. really giving us the thumbs up, you know. Rod, he's got a, a background in choir music. He was mm. in the Slovens choir. But then we, we've worked together over the years. We, one thing about the Zombies is we still like each other, which is a rarity for a 60s <laughs> band, really is. And we still work together. Um, when we won this contest, we were introduced to a publisher and a record producer called Ken Jones. Mm. To just, we asked, wanted to ask him what, which contracts are good, which which are bad, and he said, "Well, that's a terrible clause. That's an awful, that's a great clause. <laughs> well, can you offer us anything? Yeah, I'll give you all the best clauses, <laughs> which is why we still get our royalties." Wow. And um, and then he said, "Well, we're going to do some recordings." He said, "But we should why don't you write something?" So Rod went off and wrote, "She's not there," mm -hmm. and I wrote a thing called "You Make Me Feel Good." Right. And there were two of the four songs we recorded at Decca. And the story about Decca, when we recorded there, because at those days, in the 60s, you did it at night, mm. you know. And unfortunately, the engineer who was doing it had been at a wedding all afternoon. <laughs> he was absolutely pissed out of his mind. <laughs> Very rude. And, and Colin always says, basically, uh, I've, if this me recording means I'm, I'm, I don't want to do this at any time at all. <laughs> But luckily, he fainted, he, he collapsed. And we had to carry him out, one person on each leg, and put him in a taxi. Never saw him from that day to this. The tape engineer who took over was Gus Dudgeon. Oh. It was his first session wow. and our first session. And know. until he died, we were friends up to wow. as well, you know. What an amazing career he Oh, did. he certainly did, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now you